Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today we are going to put the USS Excelsior A against the Excelsior 2.0. Both of these ships are equipped with quantum and photon torpedoes. However, the Excelsior 2.0 obviously has the Picard era weapons, which are pretty powerful. In terms of visuals though, I much prefer the look of the Excelsior A. It really does look like a next generation starship. Now this version of the ship doesn't separate, but if you ask me, there is definitely a clear separation line there, but what a weird looking saucer if that separated. I'd love to see that. Now this ship appears to follow the rules of the ships from the TNG era whereas the Picard era ships seem to have gone in their own direction. I am hopeful its shields will be better than the Excelsior 2.0s, but there's only one way to find out. Okay, here we go. So I'm using the new Quick Battle Plus here. Now I think we can fire more torpedoes. Oh, we can, yes. I really like the look of this ship. It just reminds me of the Galaxy class with the saucer section. Okay, this could be an advantage, possibly, the number of torpedoes we're firing. Sir, our aft shield is draining. So we've got to get through their armour. Now, I'm not entirely sure we actually have armour on this ship, even though it looks quite beefy. Shields are at 75%. Shields should absorb this. Yep, okay. Let's fire those quantums. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're highly resistant to quantum torpedoes, aren't they? That is a shame for us. Gosh, that AI is insane. This is the difference between Quick Battle Plus and using the normal remastered. It is much more dangerous and it will just come straight at you. It's so aggressive. And it's a sore loser as well, as many of you have commented. Oh. I really want to try that again. See, look at that. They're just outmaneuvering the torpedoes, but the Excelsior 2.0 is really fast. Our quantum launcher reloads very quickly though. That's a good sign. Oh, look at that. They are just absorbing these torpedoes. They don't care. They can just sit there all day. We are definitely at a disadvantage here. It would appear engaging far out isn't really an option either, as my torpedoes kept missing. Torpedo launchers are offline again. Oh, what a shame. I do get the feeling this ship is more geared towards exploration, much like the Galaxy class. Oh, so no, 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 no! Could this actually be a good Galaxy class replacement, actually? Even though it's the Excelsior Ray. Ooh, nice phases. You've upset Brex, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, no! Okay, well, just for the sake of completedness. Ooh, incoming quantums. I'm just going to aim straight for the warp core. I've got a theory we're just going to punch. Oh, right through. Captain, I'm detecting energy spikes. It looks like some sort of self destruction. What? Bit early for that, isn't it? Oh, no. I think they're trying to get revenge. Who's at the helm? 
Oh my goodness, the match just started! Sir, we are, draining their top shield. are they really gonna go for it? Oh, fra! Hey! Hey, this is fun! Simulated enemy ship. One eternity later. Well, the Excelsior 2.0 won, and, uh, hmm. I guess this is what happens when you install the latest Windows update. Either way, that's a clear victory for the Excelsior 2.0, and in true Excelsior fashion, it lost most of its nacelle. Cool. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.